So, uh, would you expect more outflows or do you think we've seen the worst and it's all behind us and now markets have gotten used to the idea of more gradual tapering? Um, I want to say that the worst is behind us, but I, I, do, I don't know if that's entirely prudent. I, I think the best case scenario is that we will continue to see some outflows in the coming weeks with the end of it probably being a few months, uh, a few months from now. Uh, in the interim, what this does mean, however, is probably further uh, depreciation pressure also on the rupee. I, would, I don't think that the Indian rupee will be rallying stronger anytime soon, despite some of the interest rate defense uh, moves that have uh, undertaken recently by, by the Reserve Bank. That's interesting you say that because there are lots of measures that have been taken, including uh, some amount of monetary tightening. Neither bankers nor corporates are taking too kindly to that. Uh, where do you think uh, you, you'll see or you'll expect the rupee to be in the, the next couple of weeks? I think that sort of the best case scenario is essentially that the rupee moves sideways, but I'd be very happy to see the end of the depreciation of the rupee itself. So a lot of emerging market currencies have come under pressure since May. The rupee was definitely not immune to that. Um, and so it is quite natural that we see also in India, as with a number of other emerging markets, an interest rate defense kick in. I think the major concern here is that the improvement in India's uh, inflation dynamics should not be derailed by the current currency weakness. So I think it's a very prudent measure, although you say it's certainly maybe not welcomed by everybody in the corporate landscape that this has happened, but some interest rate defense to prevent too much pass-through from the currency weakness back into the inflation pipeline is definitely a healthy thing to do into the medium term. Persistent high inflation, of course, has been a challenge for India for a long time. So to see those measures, to see, to see uh, inflation measures coming down is, is a very nice thing. And so I think that's also part of the thinking at the Reserve Bank.